Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Notice when it comes in, notice when it goes out. Notice when it's, whether it's comfortable or not. You can try different ways of breathing to see what feels good right now. If you want to calm down, breathe in a way that's long and deep. If you want more energy, breathe in long, out short, in long, out short. You can experiment with all kinds of breathing. It's one of the processes in the body that you can control. There are so many things in the world, so many things even, even inside your body and your mind that you cannot control. It's good to focus on the things that you can. For example, your body, your, your heart rate, the wounds you get in the body, the parts that go well, the parts that don't go well. You don't have much control over that, but you do have some control over the way you breathe and the breath can then have an influence on the other parts of the body. So that a pain that was pretty bad can get less, or a place that's tight and tense can get relaxed. The same in the mind. All kinds of thoughts are going to come into the mind. But you have a choice which thoughts you're going to go with and which ones you're not. Think of the mind like a big crowd, lots of voices in the crowd. But you don't have to listen to all the voices. You don't have to believe the things that other people say. In the same way, you don't have to believe everything your mind tells you. Believe the parts of the mind that are reliable, the parts that tell you that true happiness is possible. And it's in your power to find it. This way you gain some control over your mind control over your body, and it's through having control over your mind that then you can have a good influence in the world. Because you look around you, so many things change. We're subject to separation. Everybody has to deal with aging, illness, and death. It's something we all have. But we do have the choice as to whether we're going to suffer from these things or not suffer from these things. And that's the good news of the Buddhist teachings. You don't have to have a perfect world in order to be happy. You can take advantage of the things that you can control and provide the mind with a good, safe place to stay, realizing that the world is going to go its way, but the mind has its own way, as long as you're not just running around behind the world. Otherwise, we're like those flying termites in Thailand. Every now and then they start flying up into the lights at night, fall back down, lose their wings, and then they walk around, and then they just follow one another around. One termite walks around, he doesn't know where he's going, and the next termite follows the first one, and the third one follows the second. Nobody knows where they're going. They just go where everybody else goes. You don't want your mind to be like that. You want to make up your mind you're going to go for true happiness. A happiness that doesn't harm anybody, doesn't harm you, doesn't harm the people around you. And then anything in your mind that's going to help with that, you, you hang on to that. That's your control. And the breath helps you, because it helps you figure out which things you can control, which things you can't, you focus on the ones you can. So make sure the breath is calming when you need to be calmed, it's energizing when you need to be energized. And that's the beginning of good control. You're not a control freak. Your control sage. That kind of control is good for you and good for the world. <laughs>